Good afternoon. My name is Professor Sharif Sultan. I'm a professor of vascular surgery at University Hospital uh, Galway and National University of Ireland. Uh, it's a pleasure to be in King Ranch today to attend the AVC meeting. I'm honored to be a member of the faculty and try to cross-fertilize and show the case for uh, new techniques and the ability to, uh, to show the cases for new technology for our colleagues in Egypt and the Middle East. I have given 10 topics to talk to, so I'm going to start from the first topic and the first question was being given to me, what about cholesterol? Cholesterol is a very good molecule, it's important for the function and for the manufacturing of uh, sex hormones, estrogen, progesterone, testosterone, it's crucial for the uh, thyroxine and cortisol. If you lower your cholesterol for whatever reason, you're going to start having problems. Commonly repeated infections, commonly chronic fatigue syndrome, um, amnesia, early premature cataract, in women mostly diabetes mellitus, and in men erectile dysfunction and depression. So why are people talking about cholesterol too much? I think they are misnomer and the whole idea that's your problem is sugar. Sugar is your worst enemy. Avoid refined sugar as much as you could. Eat good fat. Next question was to me is how to improve the quality of life. The most important single factor is changing lifestyle. Please have a tablet per day, not, it will never keep the doctor away. However, changing your lifestyle will make you better, you feel better. And the most important in changing lifestyle is to be happy. Avoid stress, avoid a nagging wife or a nagging girlfriend, or somebody sucking your energy. Be happy, stress-free. Stress-free in our life sometimes is impossible, but it's achievable if we put the boundaries around us that prevent this from happening. Exercise as much as you could. Go off your couch. There is no tablet that's going to give you one single extra day. You have to work for yourself in order to feel better. Technology. Technology is very important. It's very expensive, but it's very important. And when you apply the right technology for the right patient, the patient will do far better than anything. However, sometimes there is constraint about costs and about the ability to get this technology. It's very simple. Work with the multinational. They'll try to provide you with the best available technology in order to raise up the standard of delivery of the service. Screening for your patient is crucial. Don't go and do a bypass without checking the carotid. Don't go and do a carotid without checking the abdominal aorta, whether the patient has an aneurysm or not. It will raise the standard of the service that you provide because it will be impossible to do a fantastic aortic repair and the patient gets stroke because he missed that he has a 99% carotid stenosis. Preparation of the patient for surgery is crucial. Avoid doing sick patients because they're sick and might be the best option is leave them alone. Avoid doing anything beyond your scope or level of competence because if complications arise, you will feel bad and the patient will suffer. And you ask yourself after that, why I did not stop? If you don't know, ask for help. It's always available and trust me, the people who work against you, the minute you ask them for help, they will run to give you a hand because it could smooth a lot of stuff in between colleagues and in departments. Lastly, but not least, we have huge amount of young vascular physician in Egypt. Some of them need the opportunity to travel, to learn in order to uh, develop and deliver the best available way of service for the patient. Give them the chance to travel advise them, mentor them, because mentoring is part of their training. If you mentor someone, you'll never know. He might save your life later. Again, it was an honor to be in this fantastic uh, meeting in King Ranch. Thank you so much.